Hello, this is Clayton Weiss with MindOfIt'sOwnDesign.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the contents of my emergency bag. I think of it as an emergency bag. You could also call it a bug out bag, get out of town bag, whatever. Sometimes they say have three days of food and water, but um, I'm going to go through the contents of this bag and I'm going to show you what I think is the most important equipment to have. This is a supplemental pack I keep attached to this bag that has a change of clothes, a gray uh, button down shirt from a company Triple Lot Design, a pair of gym pants, a cream, a sweatshirt from Scott E. Vest, it has a lot of pockets and a pair of uh, wool socks. I also have one 1200 calorie energy bar. This is a lifeboat ration, sometimes they're called. Uh, three servings of 400 calories each. Um, I have two of these in the pack total. Uh, that's just a supplemental pack. Let's get into it the main pack. Okay, so if I open up, first of all, this bag is by a company called Triple Lot Design. Uh, they make nice stuff. It's kind of like um, if you were a former soldier, but you still like the style, but you want it to be just pretty unlabeled. Um, sometimes I sort of think of it as a mercenary look. Um, they make sort of, you know, you want to go with a uh, nondescript or a foliage kind of color. Um, you don't want to draw attention to your bag. And you know, like a, a really military looking bag. I mean, this one is even maybe too military looking. But um, if you, you don't want to draw attention to yourself, whatever the situation is. You don't want to look like you have a bag full of good equipment. I have some tent stakes. And this is a plastic uh, or silicone um, tube that you might need if you wanted to siphon water from one container to another or gasoline um, if you had to do that. Get out. I have this. This is a portable camping stove. It's made by Esbit. It folds up. It burns these tablets, but you could also put a small amount of, of wood in there, and then I have extra tablets. That's for good for boiling water, so you can have the water be drinkable, and also to use to rehydrate freeze-dried camping meals. All right, let's get into the bag. There's a lot of supplies in this bag. I have zip ties. I have a full over-the-glasses safety glasses, safety mask for my eyes. I have N95 dust masks, very important. You don't want to be caught in a place uh, where there's toxic dust or any kind of dust you don't want to breathe, so just have that, it's better to have it. I have some thin cord here. I also have uh, sanitary wipes, hand sanitizing wipes and toilet paper, you know, waterproof matches. And I also have, uh, some people like to call it a comfort item. I have some tea and a tea strainer. That's just, you know, so you don't go nuts. Uh, have a little bit of luxury, I would say. Uh, I also think it's a good idea to bring tampons and sanitary napkins, uh, you know, both for uh, women uh, who would need them and also uh, they make good all-purpose absorbers so if you have an injury I mean it's a good thing you could you could use that on an injury to uh, try to hemor to try to stop the uh, hemorrhaging now uh, next thing we have is this uh, water bag here I have I have uh, four or six four ounce um, little pouches of water here that these again are sort of lifeboat rations uh, normally, I don't keep the bag filled with water so it doesn't leak out, but those things are really pretty secure. I also have this Sawyer 
drinking straw. This thing is really a nice device um, for water purification out in the woods. It comes with this plunger so you can actually clean it if you have access to some fresh water. And then you have this straw if you want to drink directly from a river or stream or a rain barrel. And then you can also attach you can also attach this to this folding water drinking bag and then you sort of squeeze it into your mouth. It works really well. Uh, and you can reuse it a lot and since it has the cleaning mechanism you can clean it um, and keep using it. Um, that's a really good thing if you're on the run and you have to drink um, and then this is just a little bit of water so that you have something, you know, as opposed to nothing. Now I have this uh, this kit here, including this stainless steel water bottle from Clean Canteen, which I would attach to this belt. Uh, this is a sort of bare minimum, uh, I say this is stainless steel, uh, this is sort of bare minimum survival kit. It has a knife, this is a Scandinavian grind finish camping knife, and um, you know, you just want to have a knife you trust, fixed blade. We have a Maxpedition belt pouch or utility pouch. Uh, this is Pro Gaff Gaffer's tape. I prefer this to duct tape, although I also have some duct tape in the kit for emergency repairs and really the uses are limitless. I prefer this to duct tape because it's a little less sticky with the adhesive and it's not a slippery, it's more of a, more of a cloth texture as opposed to duct tape, which has sort of a slippery feel. Uh, I also have this very large uh, fire starter. They used to call these flint and steel, but uh, I think they're actually made of ferrocerium. It's an alloy. Uh, you use uh, the back of a knife or a striker to make a lot of very hot sparks. This one this size will really last you forever. I mean, you just keep it from, you could keep it from rusting by putting a little Vaseline on it. Uh, if you work near the water or something. Uh, now inside this pouch I have GearWord Compact Survival Cord which is a Kevlar cord. I could use this to put up a shelter. It's very thin but it's very strong. It couldn't support your weight but at the same time it would be definitely enough to put up a shelter and lash together uh, logs or branches, whatever you had to do. It would be plenty enough for that and you could cut it and then you could leave it behind if you had to. You wouldn't really have to worry about it. Uh, this is a small flashlight, uses, uses a single AAA. I also have this flashlight, which uses two CR123s, and, it's, and this is uh, made out of aircraft grade aluminum. It's from the company Surefire, and it's, it's as much a, a can be used in, a, in an emergency as a sort of weapon, um, as a fist load. And also, it's a very bright flashlight. I like the company Surefire, and they make a lot of different kinds of flashlights. Uh, you can look at their whole extensive catalog. This is another uh, water filtration thing. It's a, it's a straw. You, it's from Aquamira Frontier. And you just stick it into a water supply that hasn't been purified yet. And you know, with a little effort, you can, you can suck through the straw and drink purified water. Uh, the next thing we have also for purifying water and also actually from Aquamira is a two-part two part droplet system. When you mix these two droplets, one activates the other and it turns into a chemical that can disinfect your water and you do that and you wait the amount of time it says on the instructions and um, you should be good to go. You also want to make sure you don't have any sediment in there because things like that um, and, uh, can can really hinder those chemical treatments uh, if the chemical can't access you know every molecule of water so you should use at least a bandana to filter out like that size sediment uh, from whatever water you're doing or your shirt you know something like that uh, also in here we have a compass piece of right in the rain waterproof paper and a star flash ultra signal mirror from Ultimate Survival Technologies. And, and um, 
Signal mirror is a really good idea. The compass is for navigation. Uh, hopefully you would have a map, but people don't always have a map, but at least you will have a compass so you can know if you're heading a consistent direction, um, that kind of thing. Um, in which way, generally speaking, is north and, you know, and, and where you're trying to go. Um, now, if you have an emergency and you're trying to take your emergency bag, now this, this could be an emergency for one person, just you, or two people, for instance, or your family, and then you're just trying to get away from whatever you're trying to get away from and into a new area or trying to get back to your house. Uh, but if it's an emergency for everybody and there's sort of panic in the streets, um, then maybe you don't want to be found. But if it's an emergency just for you, maybe you do want to be found. You're like lost in the woods, and then that's when you want a signaling device, which is such as, such as the signal mirror and also a whistle, where you can do three sharp blasts on the whistle to indicate general distress. It also has a golf pencil. Uh, golf pencils are pretty, pretty good because uh, you can get a whole huge box of them, and once they get a little dull, you can just use a new one. I have a small sewing kit and a candle. Probably would burn for about eight hours. And that saves your lighter. And then I also have a fire kit in here, which has some small tinder and a aviation striker. It's sort of a survival kit kind of item uh, you might find. Uh, I'm not sure the company. And uh, more storm proof matches and their striker and a Bic lighter. Uh, Bic lighters are really good. Uh, lighter, I mean, tried and true, but you should also have matches and maybe another source of fire too. Um, just want to have these backups for these crucial items. Uh, this is a quick clot sponge, clotting sponge. It's a, if you don't even have a first aid kit, you should have this one item because this is, if you get a gash or a puncture, you put that on there, you put pressure on there right away, you wrap it with a bandana or a shirt or something like that, and, and then you uh, can try to get to help. Um, if you don't get to help, well, you may have another problem, but you'll still be happy that you have this clotting sponge, whatever. There's a, there may be different brands, but something that can stop bleeding, and then you leave it in place as you put on a, on a wrap it up. This also pouch has a has a Leatherman Wave, Leatherman Wave, which you can get these additional bits for. Leatherman is a really good all-purpose knife. I mean, and tool. You you really can use it whether it's an emergency or not. You might need it at work or at home to repair something. It's a really useful thing to have regardless of this whole kit. Also I have a handcuff key and a lock pick set from Southord or Southord, I'm not sure. It's a uh, lock pick company. Uh, I don't recommend breaking any laws but sometimes you need to get into a building and it's probably much better to have and be familiar with a lockpick set than to try to improvise something out there in the in the field so I'd say have it as opposed to not have it then I also have a military style poncho and a large bandana or shamag wrapped up in here let's get back into the bag I have this mountain series medical kit day tripper it says one to five people for multiple days. Uh, this is a really good survival kit. And again, I have another one of these quick clot sponge in here and make sure you have some latex or nitrile gloves, extra. It's always a good idea to deal with any kind of injury so you don't get, you know, your risk of contamination can be reduced. I have in this pouch, this is a Magpul, uh, mostly waterproof pouch. Uh, Magpul makes a lot of firearms accessories, but in this case, they make really nice little pouches. Whenever you have a liquid, um, I like to have it in a secondary container, so those uh, water bags are inside of a Ziploc bag, and then these, some liquids in here are inside of this. You don't wanna spill all over your bag, 
This is iodine, which would normally be in the first aid kit. Sunblock. Ben's 100% deep bug spray. Uh, you'll be happy you have bug spray, believe me, if it's ever some kind of thing where you're in the woods. I have some uh, hand sanitizer, toothpaste, toothbrush. You want to keep up your hygiene, and even though it's an emergency, don't forget to take care of yourself. Uh, I have a thing of soap here, a bar of soap, and floss, a lighter, and a condom, which you should use for safe sex, whether it's an emergency or not. And if it is an emergency, you could also use it to carry water. And even if it's not an emergency, you could use it for its conventional use. Um, be safe out there. This is a splint. It's called a SAM splint by Adme Adventure Medical Kits. You could make something out of sticks and a bandana, but my, you know, this is an easy enough thing to bring. Next, we have a bit of shelter. This is the Outdoor Research OR Aurora Bivy. This is a one person, you could call it a hybrid between a, a rain jacket and a tent that goes along the size of one person in one sleeping bag. It's really reliable. It doesn't have any poles or anything, but you could use a rope to um, keep it off of your face if you want to do that. Or you could fill it with leaves and a light brush and sleep on top of it and have that be sort of a waterproof insulating layer to protect you from the ground. Because uh, I think you might be camping if you, if you have to use this bag. So just, I guess, prepare yourself for that um, mentally. Now, this uh, stuff sack has another 1,200 calorie lifeboat ration and two meals by Mountain House freeze dried camper meals and also two meals by Backcountry Pantry, also a good company for, for freeze dried meals. Um, and, and you know, it's, that's food for a couple days. I think you're going to be doing some rationing. If it's if it's a real emergency so I mean you keep that in mind and and you know how much food and how much water you bring you know I've given I've shown you a lot of ways you can make more fresh water uh, however uh, food might be harder to come by but you can also go longer without food so I would consider the weight ratio the weight to usefulness ratio how much how much you could use and then how much you want to carry. You just have to think, everyone has to decide that for themselves. Uh, I have a length of rope, probably 50, 50 feet of uh, rope that could support my weight. And uh, I have some winter clothing. I have uh, merino wool, long john bottoms from Smart Wool. And I have a set of outdoor research winter gloves and turtle fur neck gaiter which is made of fleece. I also have this. I really like this this device over here. This is a collapsible teapot they call it or tea kettle uh, with I have a spoon here. Uh, now that this this thing you can get it separately or in some cases might come with it has two collapsible cups with have striations for measuring as a measuring cup. Two cups fit inside and then if you pull the handle up on this the walls the wall of this vessel is silicone the bottom is either titanium or aircraft aluminum I'm not sure but either way as long as you don't have a direct flame hitting this silicone side you can boil water in this and it works like a charm and it really it packs flat. So I recommend I recommend this. They come in bigger sizes too. It's by it's by the company C to Summit. And they make bigger versions of this, but I thought that the teapot was just the perfect size um, compromise between being able to boil enough to rehydrate a meal 
and also make tea if you want to and being small enough that it just is really out of the way when it collapses. I also have another item from Triple Lock Design, which is, oh, I'm sorry. This is actually from Kifaru. This is from the company Kifaru. This is a poncho liner or a wubi, as they call it. And it, and it can work in conjunction with the military poncho that you have, that I have on the belt, uh, the belt pack. Um, this is, you could use this as sort of a sleeping bag or a comforter and it's quick drying and it's synthetic. Uh, and you can fold it up to about this size. This is a this is a triple lock design product. It's a sort of earth colored sweatshirt. Now uh, you saw before I had the the other change of clothes on the outside, but I also have some clothes on the inside of the pack. This is a a nice uh, I think it's called a Ranger hoodie, and it's and it sort of has that bland uh, aesthetic that I go for and when I think of it being an emergency situation where it's just yeah it's a sweatshirt but you it's not too flashy nor memorable I also have a smart wool uh, merino wool t-shirt and I have an Under Armour uh, synthetic t-shirt now into this pouch, I have earplugs. Hearing protection is always a good idea. Could be for occupational health and safety as well. I have this four AA Princeton Tech flashlight, and I also have this four AA Black Diamond headlamp. Uh, I'm paranoid about the darkness and I like to have multiple redundant sources of light and I also like to have the ability to use multiple different batteries. That's why I have that flashlight that has the CR123 batteries and also the AAA and also two with the AA. And why don't I have batteries in a plastic bag or a little container? Because I like to have the batteries just be in a second flashlight. The extra batteries are in the second flashlight. I think it just streamlines things. I have a sewing kit with some heavy-duty sewing needles. Um, I have a, um, I don't know, what, whatever, hardware store brand box cutter with a collapsible blade. This is like a backup knife, very cheap. I have a mechanical pencil. I have another mechanical pencil with a thicker lead, or um, graphite, really, but they're called lead. We have a wire saw for cutting wood. It, it doesn't look like much, but it's actually very effective. You might want to tie rope loops around these, around these keychain rings, or you could try to hold the keychain rings, but it might be easier with rope on the handle. We have a small fishing kit with various hooks, lines, and sinkers, and floaters. Some brass, wa uh, brass wire, another small Bic lighter, duct tape wrapped around something so it's not on the, you know, taking up a lot of space from the full size roll. Like that could be the, uh, a small piece of a pen or a, something like that. And here we have, shouldn't be too much, I have a right in the rain waterproof notebook. You either need to use a pencil or a Sharpie, or a wax crayon, or you know a crayon pencil, um, or a regular pencil with this, uh, but you can't really use every pen. Uh, so, but just use it with a pencil. That's what I recommend. I have a not full or empty four liter mountain safety research water bag. This is, I mean, this thing is really bomb proof. It's pretty sturdy and you could fill this up with either clean or dirty water and you could use one of the other mechanisms for water treatment in conjunction with this bag. 
Uh, you're going to need water. It's, it's your most probably your most critical resource. So you're going to want to be refilling your water and getting water whenever you whenever you can. Uh, but don't drink untreated water because that is worse than drinking no water. Okay, I think that just about wraps it up. So in conclusion, you have water treatment, you have shelter, you have some clothing, you have some food, first aid kit, various tools and lights to just make your life easier and something you know to repair your equipment and personal protection equipment to, in order to deal with dust um, smoke you know building a tragedy in a city can produce a lot of toxins so make sure that you protect yourself and if you want to learn about more topics such as this or have an interest in product design or prototyping visit mindofitsowndesign.com um, look at us on Facebook or Instagram and have a have a have a good one take it easy and thank you uh, for watching this long video about this please like and subscribe <laughs>